皆様こんにちは。Hi everyone, bonjour à tous, welcome to our fifth lesson. Bonjour! Today's first expression is how to say enjoy your meal. Or you also use it in French very often, it's bon appétit. Bon appétit. Please guys, do not pronounce the T at the end. It's not bon appétit. I hear so many people saying bon appétit. No. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Do not pronounce the T, please. Huh? So how to say bon appétit in Japanese? In Japanese, to say enjoy your meal, you will say itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu is more like I humbly receive the food. So very often you will see people, even at the restaurant, you can definitely use this expression at the restaurant when you receive the food. People will be happy if you say itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Bon appétit is more like dig in, you know, eat with a good appetite. So that's really, you know, the direct translation. So, bon appétit. Itadakimasu. We use in the same context, but the meaning is slightly different because we have different cultures, right? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Next expression you will use at the end of the meal. It's how to say thank you. We actually do not say thanks for the feast. But in Japanese, they have this very nice expression that literally means thanks for the feast. And I highly recommend that you use it even when you leave a restaurant, not only your friends who've treated you to a nice meal. Please tell the restaurant people Gochiso sama deshita. Gochiso, which is a feast. Sama means, you know, the person. It's the polite way to say Mr. or Madame. Yeah? And deshita is the past tense of to be, this. So thank you for the feast. Gochiso sama deshita. Gochiso sama deshita. Uh, and do you remember how I explained that we don't use goodbye in Japanese? We don't say sayonara. We say when we leave a restaurant, we actually say gotiso sama deshita. When you leave the restaurant, please say that too. Now in French, thanks for the feast, it will be a direct translation too. It would be merci pour ce festa. Feast, festin. Hein? Merci pour ce festin. If you use this, guys, oh my God, I think the French people will be so pleased, but also a little bit surprised because we actually never say that. I'm the only one who says that when I go back to France because I take this expression from Japanese, from Gochi so sama deshita. But if you use it, it will be so nice. But more commonly, we just say, Merci beaucoup. Or merci beaucoup pour le repas, pour ce repas. Gotiso sama deshita. Gotiso sama deshita. Today's last expression is how to say I don't understand. I don't understand. It's pretty easy in Japanese. Wakalimasen. Wakalimasen. If you remember well, in Japanese, you don't pronounce an N. It's a nasal pronunciation that you pronounce from the back of your nose. Mm. Mm. Wakarimasen. 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 In French, je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. Here again, you don't pronounce the consonants at the end. Comprends. 
Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. Wakarimasen. Wakarimasen. So to sum up today's lesson, I don't understand. Wakarimasen. Je ne comprends pas. Enjoy your meal. Itadakimasu. Bon appétit. Thanks for the feast. Gochisou sama deshita. Merci pour ce festin. Voilà, we hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you very much for following. Next lesson will be on Friday. Vendredi. Hein? So see you then. Matane! A bientôt! Mm -hmm. Bye guys! Mwah. <laughs> Extra by Lisa Chang after this. So let's sum up today's lesson. Enjoy your meal. Itadakimasu. Bon appétit. Thanks for the feast. Gochisou sama deshita. Merci pour ce festin. I don't understand. I don't understand. Wakarimasen. Je ne comprends pas. Matane.